Thank you for joining me on this Sunday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I want to get into the next area that I'm watching for us, and this is the area I'm going to keep an eye on, the Western Caribbean. Now, I want to be clear, I'm not seeing any signs that a tropical storm is just going to flare up, but what's going to happen this week and next week, and we're already seeing it, is that we're going to get a buildup of moisture here, really anywhere from Belize, Cayman Islands, Jamaica south through Costa Rica and Panama, watching Honduras, Nicaragua, even parts of Colombia. A lot of rain here, so I would not not be surprised to see something eventually develop or at least close to it either this week or next week. So again, this is just kind of the hot spot to watch. And later on in this video, I want to show you the other areas that I typically keep an eye on in the hurricane season through later in November. So we'll get to that. But let me show you what's going on here. Let's get right down to this. Here's Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama here. And look at this big blob here. This is what was bringing some of the rain to parts of Aruba. Uh, Curacao and Bonaire yesterday, even Venezuela, still some scattered showers and storms around, but Colombia back through Panama, where we've been very active, higher rain chance. Now, I'm not seeing organization out of this, uh, but regardless of that, a lot of heavy rain here. We're going to see similar scenes like this this week and next week with that buildup of moisture here. So it makes sense that that is the next spot to watch for the uh, potential of some development. Now let's get a look at the broader picture and you see it there catching your eye. Here is Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Antigua and Barbuda. There's that area there. Still some of the rain and storms northern Colombia as you get toward Venezuela near the ABC Islands. Now we have another flare up off to the east of Barbados. This time of year though, there's a pattern change. So as we go through the hurricane season, you get the tropical waves coming off the coast of Africa and they go from east to west across the Caribbean. But this time of year, we're in the autumn season, there's more fronts up toward the Bahamas. And those fronts move across and sometimes they grab these tropical waves and pull them away. So point being, they don't necessarily uh, just shoot into the Caribbean. So you see this area here, it's not necessarily gonna go uh, this way. It may get caught up in a front. So just kind of a wait and see, and I'll monitor that, but you can see those two blobs that I'm keeping an eye on at this point. So let's get to the models. Here's our tropical model. And this is doing a very good job picking up on the extra rain there. Costa Rica and Panama. This is this afternoon, so a higher chance of rain in here. Spotty showers and storms possible. Jamaica, Haiti, Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, down through St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, uh, back through Grenada. Now, this is by tomorrow afternoon as we get through St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, Guadalupe, Martinique, Dominica, some scattered showers and storms. Still that higher chance, though, in here. Look at Panama. Even more rain, spotty showers, Cuba up through the uh, Bahamas, and the Bahamas will be watching the tail end of old fronts giving us that chance of rain. Now by Tuesday, look at Tuesday, let me stop the clock here, Tuesday afternoon, you see some more of that rain, Nicaragua over toward Costa Rica, even a better chance of scattered showers and storms in Belize. Not organized, but you see why I was talking about th this being the spot to watch. And this blob that was over here, uh, that could bring us some better chances of some rain, Trinidad and Tobago watching Guyana and Suriname. This is on Tuesday, and then moving forward, it's gonna be a pretty active week. So let me move the clock into our Wednesday. You see that? There's that spot that I'm watching still. And by Wednesday, a better chance of rain Honduras and Belize. Uh, good chance of rain Colombia, northern Venezuela. And then you see some of that moisture back there starting to move in. Not organized, but we're starting to get a better chance of rain St. Lucia, Barbados, uh, up through Anguilla, and then even Trinidad and Tobago and Guyana. We'll see kind of a resurgence of some rain. So clearly a lot to watch. And then some old fronts that will kind of lip by Cuba. And I'll watch over toward the Bahamas for that chance. Turks and Caicos of some scattered showers and storms. Here's the rain. And just looking at the brighter colors, you see that? That's catching your eye right there. That could be over 150 millimeters of rain, these brighter colors. That's a lot of rain, but that's through Tuesday. And most of it, fortunately, will be over the water, but it is going to be very close by to Panama. So that would be anywhere from four to six inches of rain in this area. Just need to keep an eye on kind of what hits uh, land as far as the rain is concerned. And still watching this over toward the ABC Islands. So heads up, Aruba, Curacao, and Bonaire. There's going to be rain nearby. It's going to be a close call. 
call on exactly kind of how much rain sneaks in because you know we're dealing with islands here all islands matter big and small so watching them but it's sometimes you could get the rain just offshore sometimes it's on top of us and then there's that rain there that will give us the scattering of showers and storms as we go throughout the week across the eastern Caribbean so the forecast today in Puerto Rico 86 degrees Fahrenheit a 40 percent chance of scattered showers and storms otherwise a mix of sun and clouds St. Lucia 31 degrees Celsius today isolated showers and storms rain chance will pick up some later this week so partly cloudy skies enjoy that but isolated storms around and still very warm winds east southeast at 32 kilometers an hour now as promised i want to show you where we see development typically this time of year uh sometimes you get a spin up out here and we could see that we will i think see that i think we'll get a name system out here typically doesn't impact anything other than shipping lanes and I keep an eye on that because we get a lot of captains on this uh, channel uh, but keeping an eye on just out here sometimes you get an old front that just spins something up uh, coming out of uh, New England or eastern Canada spinning something up but usually we look close to home where we've had development and you see here in the western Caribbean that's usually a hot spot in November again there's not typically a high chance of development this time of year but that is one area that we usually watch each year and with that, as I was just showing you, this is exactly where we're going to see some of the extra rain and thunderstorms the next few days. So it makes sense that something could try to spin up here as we go over the next couple weeks. I'll, of course, keep you posted on that. Thank you for sharing this channel, especially with that increased chance of rain uh, just for safety's sake and that flood threat that we're going to be watching in the Western Caribbean trying to cover everyone. Thank you for being part of this channel and have a good rest of your day.